It's an absolute honor that uh, I'm here uh, representing your interests as our members of the MDC. So it's a great honor from myself and the president of the MDC, uh, Advocate Chamisa, he assigned me to come here and uh, conduct this Congress. Coming here today, I have learned a lot and I'm going to take a lot home that I need to share with my comrades at home. The experience is amazing. I have no words to explain it, but what I can say is it then shows that as the MDC led by, led by Advocate Chamisa, we were spreading our wings all over the globe. The reason is very simple, is that the government of Zimbabwe has denied our kids, our brothers, our sisters, our, our grandchildren and our children the right to be at home and do what they are doing in this country. But that doesn't, it doesn't bother us as, at all as the MDC, because what it means is you have come to this country to be reskilled, re to be redeployed in order to reconstruct to Zimbabwe as soon as uh, President Chamisa takes over power from the government of Zimbabwe, which stole the elections. And uh, we do not recognize the Edim Nangakwa's government because he rigged the elections. As, as we speak today, none of us knows how many votes he gathered. But for the MDC, President Chamisa gathered 2.6 million uh, votes. And we need now to spread our wings further to make sure that as the diasporans, you have a right to vote in our country. Because there's no way that government can demand that you send money at home, but they deny you the right to vote. So this is the time that now we stand up and raise the flag of the MDC and of the Zimbabweans all over the globe to be given that right to vote, because it is their constitutional right. Choosing members of the province of the US and Canada was quite interesting, because to me, I think the delegates that came here today, they were really looking forward to this process. And at the same time, they still wanted to learn. So as a party, since we've uh, conducted the election, what is left now is to make sure that as the chairman of the MDC, uh, the onus is now on us to make sure that when the dust has settles and you have celebrated your winnings and we congratulate those that contested but did not make it because there's always a next time. So there's need for us to come back here and educate ourselves, capac capacitate our comrades on issues of our values and the issues of our constitutional requirements and how we are supposed to operate as a party so that they can carry on now mobilizing all the Zimbabweans that are in the United States to make sure that all those Zimbabweans sing in one, with one voice in order to achieve achieve all the goals that we're looking for. But over and above that, the Zimbabweans that here should fight to make sure that they have a right to vote. First and foremost, must all be aware that um, the UN General Council sits in this country. And those are some of the people that make decisions on, on behalf of the global village. Since we are now a global village, the time has come that we show uh, our strength and our demands to the UN, because the UN has to make a decision vis-a-vis -vis the issue of uh, human rights violation by the Zimbabwean government and the violation of the constitution of Zimbabwe, and at the same time the disrespect of the right of our Zimbabweans, whom ZANU-PF made to leave home, because the only sad thing is, as parents, we educated our children, but at the end of the day, they're being forced to put their certificates on our walls. But our kids have been exposed to the global village, so they decided to, to trek where there's greener pastures. The xenophobia attack that is perpetrated against Zimbabweans in South Africa is, is a sad state of affairs. But again, the Zanupiev government doesn't care because on the 14th of, November, of January, they killed a lot of our people, shot them in broad daylight, uh, defenseless Zimbabweans. So anyway, the, it doesn't bother them because the more Zimbabweans uh, die to them, it's a plus. But what we're saying, the SADC and the AU, the time has come to stop this big brother syndrome of defending each other when there's gross human rights violations, genocides that are taking place in their own mom. The time has come that I want to believe is the fact that we've been here, we are now global as the MDC. So we need to, uh, global citizens to stand up and say, enough is enough on the killing of Zimbabweans, whether in the, in, in the global village, in South Africa, and in Zimbabwe. And the uh, Munangagwa uh, must respect the people. He is sitting in that position because of the votes of the people. But he has, he has forgotten that democracy is not Nangakwa from Nangakwa by Nangakwa. Democracy is the government of the people by the people for the people. The government of ZANU-PF is always going to use the rule and divide 
uh, and they're also going to use the issue of buying people and giving them money. But honestly speaking, uh, that money only, only get it once off. Soon after you get that money, you're stuck at home, hungry, you can't pay rent, kids can't go to school, you can't buy medication, you can't go to, go to hospital. The time has come to know that by uh, as Zimbabweans, we are not worth the money that ZANU-PF is buying us. What we are worth is we need a livelihood in a country that is sticking economical, social, political, religious, and cultural. So the time has come is the money that ZANU-PF is, is plowing amongst Zimbabweans so that we split ourselves while least they are living in comfort and uh, munching uh, 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 prawns and caviar, dog handling thieves. That must stop. We cannot be used by thieves to kill ourselves. We cannot let these thieves uh, buy us uh, buy, our, buy us by using uh, the fact that we are in poverty. No. We are saying as Zimbabweans, this is the time, and the global village, this is the time to make sure this business of trying to bribe us by giving one of our, 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 some of our comrades money in order to sway the vote for them to stay in power when they've dismally failed. The time has come for them to step down because there is more than enough, enough evidence to prove that they are failures. A lot of people believe that uh, Zimbabwe has been captured by these thieves. No, it hasn't been captured. How does a thief capture something that he doesn't know he has? Because all what they are doing is it's a question of uh, uh, they walk around and uh, the next thing they get to Chiyadz uh, uh, innocent po uh, poverty ridden Zimbabweans uh, started digging and uh, discovered diamonds and the next thing you are chasing every people, everybody out. Then that confirms that we are not captured, we just have a, a leadership that has no clue how the potential that Zimbabwe is. And we are saying we are not going to let them to destroy that potential for the future leaders of tomorrow. Because most of these people that are in power as we speak are all geriatrics. They must go home and look after their grandkids and let the young people do what they want. Because the young people are not there to fight with anybody or kill anyone or shoot anybody, or arrest anybody, rape women, you know what I'm saying? All what we're saying is let the young generation come in and reconstruct Zimbabwe. Uh, as you are aware that we're going to our Congress, the main Congress is the MDC. This is time that we're going to put our house in order because what is happening in terms of the alliance is that it was a Congress resolution that we came up with on, in 2014. But what we did, we just came up with positions, resolutions, and the matrix were never put in place. So this is the time for us to go back to our Congress. This time around, we sit on our Constitution and see areas where we need to amend, repeal, or, or, so that we accommodate the Congress resolution uh, and, and provide the metrics on how best we're going to work as the Alliance partners. Because we believe that MDC is a big tent and everybody with the, with the same ideology and uh, with us, the same problems that they are facing, we can all come together and come up with a, a blueprint that will make us move forward. And this is the time to it when we go to our Congress. Coming to the issue of uh, conflicts within ourselves, it's expected. We are now a global party and uh, trying to control thousands and millions of people is not a joke but well, that doesn't mean that we can we, we cannot have everything uh, uh, flowing smoothly we liberated ourselves from the white colonialists and we forgot to free ourselves and this is the time to do it and 20, 2019 is our year zanu pf must go and must go like yesterday <laughs>